In many of my videos, I always say that you have to do networking and then the next thing happens. Many students will email me how exactly we can do networking. Well, on the other hand, many students will email me saying that, sir, I'm a fresher. I don't have any experience. The industry is not giving me jobs. So how will I gain experience? So, or they say the industry is demanding some referrals or references. I don't have any. So how should I get a job? So that is where this video comes in, where we are going to talk about networking in the biotech sector. Now, you are from any sector. The things which I'm going to share will definitely help you. So let's talk about networking. Now, your network is your net worth. Okay, for example, billionaires like Elon Musk has 200 billions net worth. So what is net worth? Net worth is like, okay, it's not money, but it's he is worth these many rupees or these many dollars. The same way your network is actually your net worth. Now, why do I say that? Very interestingly, I'll tell you one incident. So there used to be a, a director in one of the biotech companies and we met in one of the conferences and we exchanged numbers and we were just in regular touch okay so of course uh, i have been building my network for past 17 years so he was a part of my network now he left that organization and joined one of the largest biopharma company in india now uh, you can guess which one it was that and when he joined there he contacted me because he thought biotechnica can help his company and that's how we backed the biggest deal with any of the biopharma companies and that to the biggest biopharma company in India. So what really happened? My network of like, like I met him five years ago or seven years ago and then he remembered me when he uh, you know got into this particular company. So my network increased my earnings, right? So your network can actually help you increase your earnings. Now who all can be in your network? That's very important. So I'm going to tell you everything in detail. This is probably going to be a 15 or 20 minutes video. Let's find out how many minutes I can talk on networking today. The first thing is you have to know which all th places where, where you can network. So there is one is online, there is another is offline. Now in the online world, you can do networking in LinkedIn. So that's the first one. Now LinkedIn, as you know, is the world's largest professional network and that's what people know. But what people miss out is LinkedIn is world's largest applicant tracking system. Now that means anybody can reach out to anybody and have a chat. Like you can chat with me, I can chat with you. So if we can build a strong network on LinkedIn, then we can add more people to our network. And the more we add people to our network, our network becomes even more valuable. Now suddenly in future, we need a job or we need some opportunity or we need some collaboration. All we have to do is go on LinkedIn, post it and somebody will help. So that's one part of the networking, but it is not the only part. How to do networking on LinkedIn, I'll come in a bit from now. Now, the second place where you should do networking is conferences. Now, conferences, you have, uh, I think, uh, Bangalore Bio happens, Bio Asia happens, and many other conferences happens across the globe. Even Biotechnica conducts a lot of virtual conferences where you can participate. So conferences is where you can participate, you can reach out to the speakers, you can ask questions, you can, uh, you know, um, reach out to them while they're having a fire, fireside chat or, you know, you can ask questions, you can get answers, you can exchange numbers and you can connect with them later on on LinkedIn as well. So that's one way. Conferences is a place where you get new contacts and LinkedIn is the place where you further strengthen your relationship with that contact. So conferences is second point. The third point is workshops. Now, in India, as well as abroad, online as well as offline, a lot of workshops happen. You have to participate in as many workshops as you can, whichever adds value to you, knowledge-wise, as well as whichever has some renowned speakers there. Now, these speakers have their own network. So the moment you become a part of their network, they become a part of your network. Together, it becomes a stronger network, right? So that's where workshop comes into picture. The fourth one is seminars and webinars. So a lot of research organizations conduct webinars and seminars. Now, let's say that you want to get into IISC and IISC is conducting a seminar. So you go participate there, exchange numbers, make contacts, and then probably reach out to them on LinkedIn, make a, a, a you know reputation uh, online and as well as offline, and uh, you know you will get opportunities. So that's one way. So these are four things which you should do: LinkedIn, conference, workshop, seminars, and webinars. Of course, webinars that is online. So even you can attend a lot of webinars that will help you. So th these are the four places you should do. Now, what you should be doing that I'll tell you, and what you should be targeting. That I'll, I'll tell you. So 
the first thing you have to to target on all these four platforms which i said uh, linkedin conference workshop and webinars you have to target three things the first is building trust right so the more visible you are the more you are uh, able to build trust with the target person then only he will give you a job or he'll give you opportunity right so we have to become trustworthy then only he will share his valuable time and money with you the second is you have to brand yourself personally so do personal branding that's the second goal the third goal is to build long lasting relationships so that they can reach out and you can reach out whenever you need any kind of help so from linkedin conferences workshops seminars and webinars your goal should be to build trust to build a personal brand and build relationship with your network so this is what you have to do now how do you do it let's jump into that first thing you have to reach out whenever you get a new contact reach out to industry leaders via email or via linkedin or via these platforms or via technica the second is whenever they post something if you like praise you know you sh you should not flatter just genuinely praise if you like something uh, or if somebody shares something that they achieved always praise or comment on that post always uh, remember that you have to be genuine don't flatter don't butter just be genuine tell them that you really loved the post you really liked whatever you liked express yourself that's very very important you are unique your expressions are unique your thoughts are unique so go express yourself on these platforms the next one is you have to repost and endorse so suppose i posted something which you liked so if you liked it endorse it by reposting it now the moment you do that one hand you are strengthening your relationship with me on the other hand you are strengthening your relationship with your network because they liked what you posted right so repost and endorse you know content which you like on linkedin very very important the next one participate participate in discussions and debates offline or online on biotechnica on linkedin wherever it is happening the more you express yourself the more visible you are the more visible you are the more trustworthy you are the more trustworthy you are the better personal brand you build and the better better relationship you build and that's how you will get jobs and opportunities in future so that's where participation comes into picture now the last part remember all my videos i say you have as a researcher you have to collaborate so what you have to do you have to reach out to people so if they don't like you if they don't trust you will they collaborate with you they won't right so collaborate with scientists working research uh, projects similar to yours either you can volunteer or reach out and ask for help whatever it is the more collaboration you do the more network your your network gets strengthened and at the same time you are reaching out to newer people who have their own network who have a, build a stronger network that's how it grows let me give you example so if i have dr kiran majumdar shaw in my network so i can reach out to her and ask for help so this is what happens so i have now my net worth has improved because i have a billionaire in my network so this is how you have to build your network this is how you have to grow your network and this is how you have to nurture your network the more you do that the better you will get at it now let's talk about some actionable insights from the, with this with, uh, from this video i share a lot of content on linkedin if you like it connect with me and share to your network that that way we will be able to you know um, co brand each other i'll be able to help you you will be able to help me the second thing we can do is we can together participate in a lot of online conferences workshops and webinars which we conduct on biotechnica you can participate there if you are a expert speaker somewhere you can reach out to me and tell me that sir i want to participate in this particular uh, workshop as a speaker take that opportunity and you can even earn but i won't give you that opportunity unless i know you the fourth one you can do is you can share the links of jobs on biotechnica on on your linkedin profile so what will happen is your network somebody is looking for a job they'll get benefited and they'll come back and thank you that you know because of you they got the job right you will think that because of biotechnica they got job no they got the job because of you so the more you share the more you care for your network the more trustworthy the more um, reputation you build and the better visibility you will get so these are the pointers which i wanted to share today in this video where i wanted to wanted to tell you that your network is your net worth do not let go of this opportunity you have a brilliant opportunity to become a global scientist just by sitting in your home by doing the things which i shared i've also shared a infographic which is there on your screen right now you can check that out uh, probably take a screenshot and save this forever because this is your most insightful actionable video on networking which i have ever made and uh, of course if you have any questions reach out to me uh, by commenting below or you can email me at shekhar@biotechnica.org i love interacting with students and job seekers and uh, biotech professionals just like you 
my goal is to help you because I know at one point in time, some point in time, definitely you'll help me by growing my network. So come be a part of my network by uh, going to my LinkedIn profile. If you go to LinkedIn and just type Shekhar Suman Biotechnica, you will find me. Thank you so much. See you soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Keep networking. Bye-bye.